Hey guys, how's it going? Kaprain here. Today I want to give you guys my rundown on the new Paladin quest in Angora. The reason I want to do that is, well, it's just not a quest that people have in very high regard. And because I've really tried all the quests, I've made every quest kind of work. I did mention that they're all generally going to make an okay deck regardless of, you know, maybe somewhere a lot more powerful than others. Certainly at the very bottom of that range is the Paladin quest, and um, I still don't think it's too bad. I played around with it on the first day. I had reasonable results, particularly for a deck that is very, very like combo-centric and requires a lot of fine-tuning. I think the results were acceptable, and while, you know, I, I don't think this deck will be top tier by, by no means top tier, but I think it has some promise, I think there is a lot of entertainment value, and I think it's something that with enough fine tuning can actually be like a mid tier deck. So on one hand, I think it highlights a lot of the crazy mechanics in Ungoro, and in the other, I'm sure some of you guys opened up the Paladin Quest and just have absolutely no idea what to do with it, and uh, hopefully this video actually acts as at least a little bit of guidance along the uh, crazy fun games. So check them out, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's try to get Divine Favor and Primal Champions. I think those are the, those are the only two cards we would keep. Okay. We're, not, we're not buffing anything right now, so we just play that for tempo. Fine. The trick with this deck is to mulligan away your quest and take it out of your deck next game and then play something else. Damn, dude, that sounds really legit. Two. Okay. Murloc Paladin's actually really good. Is it now? And you guys keep shitting on my Kaleidosaur deck, so if I actually beat what is allegedly a really good deck, allegedly, I don't buy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Doesn't doesn't have wind fury. I cannot do that. That's bullshit. That's not a valid target. No wind friend. I can see. That's not good. Blessed Champion is no longer in standard, my friend. He needs the taunt thing or the plus one plus one thing, right? Hmm. Mm. Oh, blessed champion. 
Oh. Yeah, I don't know. How have I never drawn Divine Favor? Isn't that crazy? That's pretty serious. Holy crap. Well, I got the Vorax Dream. Oh, it hits the other one too. This is a savage as hell Vorax, by the way. I never thought I'd see anything like this. Okay. Is it lethal? It's not lethal. The battle. Reporting to you. The light protects me. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay there. Nice quest. Dude, nice divine favor, man. I don't know what to tell you. Never drawn divine favor. This is like game number six or something with this deck. It's unbelievable. Not bad. Plants versus Murlocs. Plants win. Even bigger, boys. Even bigger.
alternate wind conditions, I guess. I got divine favor, but now I don't have a minion. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> for duty. It's pretty good. There's an opportunity to use divine favor, so I took it and got fucked. Incoming sap. Think. Yep, sap would be bad. Pay attention, class. I am ready to learn. I am ready to learn. For duty. The light protects it. Poison on Sally does not work now. When it's dead, it's no longer adapted. So the death rattle effects kind of suck. Okay. Well, if he has like two shadow steps here, I'm pretty fucked. It has to be exactly both shadow steps, though. Otherwise, that's not happening. I hope you like my invention. Wait. What? Oh. Okay, one shadow step is enough, I guess. Okay, that's that's really bad now. I hope you like my invention. All right. Stealth, got it. Wind Fury, got it. Swan plus one. Uh, okay. Three attack. Okay. Should I? I fight amazing. Yeah, I might be dead. Here's the problem. Shit. 
could still die. Oh, looks like I got it. What? At 40 damage! Galvadon!